Okay, so I'm sure you know this. For so many families, having a baby involves months and months of planning, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Packing up the baby bag, gearing up to make that trip to the hospital. Yeah. So much. Yeah, and then, but, but you, as you know, these things happen when they happen. Correct. And sometimes, as the Chesterland family found out, you can plan and you can be ready, but then all of that can go right out the window. And Isabel Lawrence is with us now. She has a story of the event of a lifetime who just, well, it just didn't want to play along with the time frame. Watch. In Chesterland Saturday morning. 911, where's your emergency? Time was of the essence. Uh, my wife is in labor. I don't think we can make it to the hospital. Okay, how far along is your wife? Jeez, uh, I can almost see the baby's head. Anala Lightman had been cleaning up around the house with her husband Kevin and their two little boys, getting ready ahead of being induced this coming Friday. But baby had other plans. All of a sudden, I looked at him and I was like, you might want to call 911. Just seconds later came the sweetest sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, great job, baby, great job. Mom. Oh, is it a boy or a girl? Baby girl Ajaya made her big debut. We're grateful that she is safe and she's mm -hmm. healthy. Mom and dad, the picture of calm the entire time. You're doing great, babe. Take your time. Probably because they've done this before. Their one-year-old son, Aaron, was also born suddenly at home. I could not believe it was happening again <laughs> for us. I think you kind of looked at me too like, sorry, I'm making you do this again. Yeah. <laughs> not their first home birth, and also not the first for the voice on the other end of the line. Okay, I need you to catch the baby. Oh, okay. Communication Sergeant Tammy Phillips. It's beautiful. It's a happy moment. It's knowing that we're there to do the best that we can and to help these people out. A team effort to bring a bundle of joy in a big rush into the world. And the whole situation was just very, um, very it's like comical. Yeah, it, not yeah. It was just it was very positive and light. I yeah. think that is the best way to describe it. Too soon. Oh, <laughs> so cute. That's funny. So Jay and Laura, I know we mentioned that there are two little boys in the family as well, Asher and Aaron. Well, it's funny, later in the 911 call, you can actually hear dad trying to tell them to, you know, get out of the room. Let's go oh see your gosh. auntie downstairs. Oh. But they were curious. They wanted to stick around. So big brother Asher, he's actually now been present for the both for the births of both of his little siblings. He's been in the room, just wanted to help out mom, it's, it's... just there. I you, can't get over this. When we were watching the story, she said, now there's an unexpected twist coming. And I, I started thinking, what could it be? I, I never in a million years thought that this would be the second time that's happened. Yeah. Uh, Isabel, think of the money they've saved on, on delivery room <laughs> expenses. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right? That, Am that's I right? That could be pretty goes, pricey. Right? Listen, that dad deserves an award. Very calm, mm -hmm. under pressure. He was great. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. And a healthy little girl. Healthy mom and baby are going to head home probably tomorrow morning. They just wanted to get them checked out at the hospital, but everyone is cool as a cucumber, wow. good to go. They're making yeah. that seem way too easy. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm it's just not like, that easy, Whoa. folks. Yeah, it's really not. But I good speak for from them. experience. Yeah. That was a great story. Aww, thank, thank you, Isabel. You. Wonderful job. We're really into it.